2FA, MFA, WTF, eh? Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today we're talking about two-factor authentication and multi-factor authentication. If you are unfamiliar with these terms, we will describe them in this video in very basic terminologies. Today's video is brought to you by IT Pro TV. If you're looking to get into the IT field or expand your skills, make sure you check out the link in the description below. IT Pro TV offers thousands of hours of training. Whether you're looking to get CompTIA certifications, Microsoft, Cisco, the list goes on. They offer content for everything over there and it's affordable, it's enjoyable, and I know you'll like it as well. Use the coupon code ITCQ30, save 30% off your subscription. Multi-factor authentication is a method that is used to help secure your accounts, whether that's an online account, a website account, uh, maybe one of your programs that you could log into. It's a form to help keep you secure. Examples of multi-factor authentication methods are something you know, which could be a password, something you have, which could be a ubiquity key, which is like a thumb drive that is plugged into your computer, something you are, which could be your fingerprint or an iris scan. These are some of the most commonly used methods of multi-factor authentication. Now you may have come across this already and hopefully you are using some type of MFA or 2FA if it's available to you. Now to compare 2FA and MFA, multi-factor authentication typically utilizes more than two methods of authentication. So when you're logging into your banking website, for instance, you may put in your username, you'll put in your password, which is that one form of authentication. You may also have to put in some type of security token that gets texted to you or emailed to you. You may also have to put a fingerprint on with your computer or with your phone just to help verify that you are who you say you are. With 2FA, it's only two factors of authentication being used. So again, this could be your password, that one form of authentication. And the second one is typically an SMS code that is sent to your phone. Now, many people are against 2FA when it utilizes SMS to send some type of code or a token. And that's because this is one of the most vulnerable forms of multi-factor authentication. Many people are against this. However, if that is the only form of MFA that is available to you, you should be utilizing it. I read an article the other day that said something along the lines of 90% of people who use some type of MFA are more secure than people who don't. So that's a big number right there. That is telling you guys that, hey, this may be a deterrent for hackers, which it is. Utilizing 2FA or MFA is a great deterrent from people hacking your accounts. It's much harder to hack somebody's account when there's multiple authentication forms in place. So what you should be taking away from this video is that anytime that MFA is available to you, you should be utilizing it. More importantly, you should be sharing this information with your friends, your family, and your coworkers. It is extremely important to make people aware of these methods because this is an amazing way to help keep you, your data, and everything else about you secure. As you know, everything that we do is pretty much done online nowadays. So if you have an online account that offers any type of multi-factor authentication, please use that and please share this information with the people that are close to you. We wanna keep people secure. We want to keep people from being hacked, manipulated, their money taken away from them or their data taken away from them. It's not fun. And utilizing a method that is available to you for free many times is a great way just to help keep you secure. I hope you guys appreciate this video. And if you have any other comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, whatever you got, hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, Take it easy.